Here's the thing every video game should have. Motion controlled aiming. Now I'm not saying that every game should have motion controls like for example Splatoon does. In my opinion that's even one step too far because it's either analog or motion controls. In the end many will argue, including us, that motion controls is superior to analog. But there are many players out there playing at a high competitive level using analog. What I want to see is analog and motion controls. This hybrid solution was almost perfectly executed in The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Basically, it works like this. You use the right analog stick to execute rough and broad camera movements. As soon as your target is roughly within your line of fire, you can make fast and precise adjustments with the motion controls to hit that exact spot you want to hit. And just to be clear, we are talking about very small motions here, because the controls are so precise and sensitive. I've also seen some Steam games do it with the Steam controller, like Metal Gear Solid. Well, I can still use the pad to aim, but while I'm touching the pad, I can twist the controller left and right, up and down. It's really responsive and really helps for aiming. So you can use the pad for like quick, uh, quick turnaround movements, but you can use the gyro really uh, well, just for aiming between targets with this gun. Another big advantage of this combination is that you can follow fast moving objects more accurately. Instead of estimating and translating the target's movement to the right analog stick, you directly emulate the movements with the whole controller. The added motion controlled aiming is basically like using a mouse and keyboard setup in a three dimensional space, in the moments that matter the most, without completely sacrificing the familiar analog controls. Some of the most rewarding combat moments in Breath of the Wild are the moments where you jump off your horse or really anything else, take aim with your bow and arrow and shoot that bokoblin or guardian right in the eye. These moments were heavily amplified by the great motion controls. Now to be fair, the motion controls can feel a bit too sensitive at times, and I did experience some motion control aim drifting during my playthrough. The camera seemed to move to the left without any input from my side. Oh and, using motion controls on a bus, train or any moving vehicle is basically impossible. But even these inconsistencies didn't matter in the end, because the overall experience felt so good. I have to say, it also feels strange going back to a game without motion controlled aiming after having spent so much time in Breath of the Wild. Currently I'm playing through Horizon Zero Dawn, and even after a lot of hours spent with the game, I still tilt the PlayStation controller when aiming for a watcher's eye, hoping to get some kind of feedback on screen. But nothing happens. That last tiny but crucial camera aiming adjustment before pulling the trigger will never feel truly satisfying with analog controls only. And that's why every game with shooting mechanics should have additional motion controlled aiming. <laughs>